What I've proposed is not a model, it's a strategy of which then the model will have to be developed from that. And before a model is considered, then you look at, rightfully so, all the practicalities, including even costing it financially. I think we know very well that the name Peke, as well as the name Unibo, are actually historical names. And for all branding purposes, it is always very wise and important to embrace and move with a new brand of the university without necessarily implying that uh, the previous brands are offensive and must be insulted. They have achieved a lot, but it is now time to move forward with a new brand of the university. Okay, I can tell you that at the moment my daughter is studying at, she's doing grade 12, and she's Abbott College, and it, it, she chose the institution, it is her choice. And I can also tell you that I have a, a foster son who studied at, at, at Poch, who even did his honours at Poch. I must say it was not his choice. I actually enforced that he must come to Poch for him to go and be part of a diverse environment and, uh, which he can learn from. Yeah, I would say I, I live everywhere. It depends where the sun sets. <laughs> But uh, obviously the seat of the university is based at Pochefstrom and then uh, that, that's where the, the official uh, residence of the Vice-Chancellor is. Yes, it is very important. Yes, there's a benchmark that we have done and uh, we will continue to receive all the uh, benchmarks results. But when you look at those, it's always very important to understand that the contexts are never the same. Uh, yeah, I think it's a very sensitive uh, issue here. There is no attempt to change uh, Africa, uh, Portuguese room to English or no attempts to change it from Africans. All we're saying is our language policy accommodates the coexistence of both. I've actually had other people saying the opposite, to say, have the three campuses actually ever matched? Because uh, of the challenges that are there in terms of consolidating the measure to another level. So uh, it's a discussion that we can have for another day. Yeah, when we talk of uh, the unitary model, by the way, it's not anything new to the university. The current statutes of the university states that it's a unitary multi-campus university. And when we talk about the emphasis in consolidating the unitary nature, this now talks to the core business. We are talking here about the quality of the program from the university being the same, students getting the same degree of the same standard uh, from all our three campuses. Uh, this is really stretching it too far if we think that now that implies different lives on different campuses and different residences. That is not intended that. But however, the experience must be the same. This is a national challenge. Indeed, we have to see as a country, and it's not only unique to uh, the Northwest University, that the, 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 the number of PhD students from non-white uh, race is actually a, a concern for the country. And we really need to look at that, much as we also need to look at the participation rate of the non-whites at our universities. That is something that the country has to work on because out of this population, there's a lot of human resource, there's a lot of skill that the country can benefit from. So we are basically indicating that we need to ensure that other races also come on, or come on board in terms of building the skills pool of the country.